Hey guys, let's talk about shampoo bars. Shampoo bars have really surprised me. I didn't know what to expect when I bought my first shampoo bar, so I wanted to share with you five things that I learned while using different shampoo bars. Number one, not all shampoo bars are created equal. There are a lot of different shampoo bars out there that meet the needs of various hair types. So if you have dry hair or oily hair, or you're looking for a volume enhancer or a shampoo bar without sulfates, without parabens, or with no harsh chemicals at all. There's a lot of different options out there to meet your hair needs. So I first started with the Yellow Bird Shampoo Bar. I like the sound of this one because it's sulfate free, it's vegan, and it helps with dry, thin hair, and it also helps with dandruff, which I have a problem with sometimes. However, when I used it, it left my hair feeling weighed down and also left this sort of greasy, oily residue in my hair after I washed it. I used it for a while thinking that, you know, I would probably get used to it. Plus, I really just wanted to like this shampoo bar, but unfortunately, it just didn't work for me. I switched over to the Scenic Shampoo Bar from Lush and I loved it. It smells so good and I liked how it, my hair felt afterwards. It felt clean, it smelled nice, and it didn't weigh my hair down or feel greasy. I also tried the Honey I Washed My Hair, also by Lush, and I loved this one as well. It's just a really lovely scent and I really liked how clean and fresh my hair felt afterwards. It's also vegan and no animal testing is done, which is a huge benefit in my opinion because I've seen the disturbing, horrific photos of what they do to rabbits and other animals during animal testing for the beauty product industry. Lush does not sell their products in China, therefore they can be considered cruelty free. And they actually do have a statement about this. Quote, we do not sell in mainland China, as you may know. Their government requires all cosmetics to be tested on animals, which contradicts our cruelty-free commitments. So that's just another thing that I love about the company. They are true to their mission. Number two is shampoo bars can actually create a really good lather just like regular liquid shampoos. One thing that I was really skeptical about when using shampoo bars was their ability to lather well. It turned out it doesn't take much to get a good lather. I just used my fingers to lather throughout my scalp and it provided a nice lather. You could either rub the shampoo bar directly onto your scalp or you can rub the shampoo bar against your hands and create a nice lather between your hands and then place it directly onto your scalp. Number three, shampoo bars clean very well. While washing my hair with the shampoo bar, the Lush bar in particular, I could actually hear my hair squeaking. I now understand the phrase my hair is squeaky clean because it's never squeaked before with regular liquid shampoo. Number four is storing your shampoo bar in a very dry area is very important. The Lush shampoo bar that I used claims it lasts for about 80 washes, but for me it was about two and a half months and I only wash my hair every three days or so, which is a lot less than 80 washes. I think it might be because I was not very careful about how I was storing the shampoo bar, so it is very important that you store your shampoo bar in an area where it will stay dry after you use it. Doing this will help ensure that the shampoo bar will last longer. Another reason it's good to store it well is to prevent a scummy or soapy residue from forming on your bathroom tile. So it just keeps everything clean. Number five, it's so much better for the environment to use shampoo bars. So using shampoo bars really minimizes the creation of single-use plastic containers. The shampoo industry is huge, and by minimizing single-use plastic containers, this will prevent pollutants from the plastic industry from entering the environment. It also really feels good using a product with minimal packaging. When I purchased the Lush shampoo bars in the store, they actually put the shampoo bar in a small brown paper bag. So they really do try to minimize plastics and wastes in general. Even when I purchased the Yellow Bird shampoo bar, it came in a cardboard package that was recyclable. Another alternative to shampoo bars that 
also helps prevent waste is using a shampoo concentrate. This product comes in a tube and is basically a paste, almost like a toothpaste. And it's activated when it comes in contact with water. So you just squeeze out about a one inch strip of paste and add water and lather it on. It also comes with a little turnkey to help get all the contents of the container out. The ingredients are plant-based and made of all natural ingredients. And I will put a link to this in the description below so you can check it out. So let me know in the comments section how shampoo bars have worked for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.